welcome back to Grace's room. So Melbourne is currently in its fourth lockdown. Um, it's just like a little mini lockdown, but still it's very annoying. We're hoping, hoping that we come out of it next week. Um, but if any of you guys are in lockdown like me, or I know some of you are starting to finish up your school year and are going into your summer break, then you might be struggling to think of some things to do. So I've compiled a list of 15 things to do when you're bored. that I find really relaxing to do is to give myself a bit of a mani-pedi. Um, so if you have like a bucket at home, you can fill it up with some warm water, put some like bath salts in it or some bubble bath like I did and you can soak your feet while you paint your nails like I did as well. It's just a really good opportunity just to paint for yourself. So for those of you that might be a little bit of a perfectionist like me, then you might want to try organizing your makeup or your jewelry collection. I don't know, I just find it so satisfying to see things like all neatly organized. Um, for example, like these are like my makeup drawers and I know it might not seem the absolute like neatest, but I really like having everything organized in like the different compartments and stuff. Um, and then here I've got my jewelry box. Uh, I've got like my necklaces over here, my earrings there, some more earrings and then my rings there. And I don't know, I just like knowing where everything is and I just like how organized it looks. So definitely try this one out if you like to have things all nice and neat. Something that's really important for both your mind and your body is to do exercise. It's really good to do exercise a couple of times a week, especially if you're in lockdown. However, exercise comes in many different forms. You could do a workout. You could go for a walk or a run. You could go for a bike ride. you could even meditate. So if you guys are like really into aesthetics, then Pinterest is definitely an app that will keep you entertained for a very long time. Um, one of the best things you can do is you can actually create a board um, where you can like base it on like a certain aesthetic or theme and it's just really fun to use and it can be really helpful as well, especially if you're like redecorating your room or you want like, um, for example, nail inspiration. Like I have a board just dedicated to different nails, styles and stuff. Um, my account is Grace Ariana 16 if you want to follow it. Um, but this was like really useful. I remember when I was like customizing my home screen, I created like this neutral board with all these different um, photos. You can follow other people's boards and yeah, it's just a really good app. I know this was really popular last year when I was 14 had just come out, but some of you guys might have never gotten around to doing it. And that is customizing your home screen. Um, this was just so much fun to do. I know it might seem a little bit like pointless, but it honestly makes your home screen like looks just really pretty. I don't know. Um, and now I've sort of gotten used to like where all the apps are as well. I know a lot of people complained like about how you didn't know which app it is. Um, so I think I just got used to it. Um, and I did like a neutral theme as you can see. And I got a lot of these images from Pinterest. So it's just like really fun. And if you guys want to do it, then you can check out a video that I uploaded last year with some instructions. I know this might seem like a bit of an obvious one, but online window shopping is something that I always love to do when I'm bored. I just like looking through a bunch of different clothing websites, taking screenshots of um, a bunch of clothes that I like, but then I never end up buying any of them. I usually honestly just like to do it just to see like what's in trend. Um, and while we're on the topic of clothing, an app that I really like to use, it's called um, Combine. And it's this really cool app basically where you can create like a bunch of different outfit options and um, so you can sort of just see like, what pieces go together, if that makes sense. Like these are some ones that I've created. Um, and what's really good about it is you can actually take photos of your own clothing items. I mean, these ones here are just the ones that they give you on the app already, but you can um, take your own photos of your own clothes and it's just a good opportunity just to see, create some outfit options. Everyone knows that gaming is fun, but it's even more fun when you get to play with your friends. There are a lot of really good, um, like fun and safe online games out there like Minecraft or Roblox, which my friends and I love playing every once in a while. Um, and it's just another really good way to stay connected with your friends, especially if you're in lockdown. A really relaxing thing that you can do if you're bored is some mindfulness coloring or activities. Personally, I love coloring. Um, I did this one recently. It's a neutral sort of mandala. And this is just like so relaxing and therapeutic. 
Um, like it's a bunch of other mandalas here. You can just get these books from like Kmart or Target and they're like reasonably inexpensive as well. Um, if you're not really into coloring, you can also get books like these which have a bunch of like really cool activities in it like some connect the dots. Um, I think I did a word search here as well. And like I said, they're just like really um, good for if you just want to like de-stress and unwind. Um, I find these like really relaxing, so definitely recommend. So if you're bored, why not try practicing your makeup skills or trying a new makeup look? Uh, I know like last year I spent a lot of time while I was in lockdown practicing my eyeliner skills, which I still can't perfect, um, but it's just a really good opportunity, you know, you're not going out, so do like a rainbow makeup eye look for example, um, or like I said, practice your skills. Uh, I think I still need a bit of work with the eyeliner skills though. Maybe we can do a better one on this side. Yeah, no. This idea is probably for those of you that have patience um, and it's doing a puzzle. Uh, this can just be really relaxing to do, but it can also be quite frustrating, especially when you can't find the right piece. Um, <laughs> but overall, it's just like really fun to do and it will definitely keep you occupied for a few hours. Like I'm currently doing a friends one and I've got a very long way to go. Probably for those of you that are in lockdown for a little while or you're on your summer break, basically anytime you're not going anywhere near school, um, and that is to do an at home hair dyeing kit. Um, I know this can be like really good for those of you who have like, always wanted to dye your hair a certain colour. Um, it's a perfect opportunity, um, especially if your school doesn't allow you to have any like bright colours in your hair like mine does. Um, I know I did this last year during lockdown, I dyed my hair purple, and even though it was really messy, it was like so much fun to do. So if you want to see the results, then you can check out the video here. If you guys love music like I do, then I definitely recommend creating a playlist. Playlists are like really useful um, for like when you're in a certain mood. It's just like good, you can just pop on a playlist and it's got all the songs already there for you. You don't have to go through and pick them out. Um, like for example, I have a playlist here which is just dedicated to shower songs. I've also got another playlist here which has just got a lot of like really chill R&B songs. Um, I have one dedicated to certain artists, like I have a my Michael Jackson one here. Um, and you can create like our workout playlist, the possibilities are endless. If you guys have any old like keepsake boxes or just any old childhood memories, um, I think it would be really good just to sort of like take it all out and just spend hours looking through it all. Like here's my keepsake box here and I've just got a bunch of like old clothes and birthday cards and some of my uh, art pieces as you can see. Like this one here was inspired by Picasso, as you can tell probably. Just kidding, obviously. <laughs> but um, I especially love looking at the clothes. Like, how cute is this dress? I can't believe I used to fit into this. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, bit. Grandma loves me. And these shoes as well. That is so cute. Oh, I think they fit in like a builder bear or something. Okay, I probably. I probably should put this all away. I'm gonna spend hours looking through it all. I know this one might seem like a bit of a no-brainer, but try cooking something. But try cook something that you've never tried before. Like this might be a recipe that you've had saved on your phone for like a really long time that you've never got around to trying, but now's your chance. Um, this might be something like out of your comfort zone as well. It's just like a really good opportunity to do that. Um, I mean, I know I had so many um, recipes saved on my phone from like last year. And at the moment, I'm currently testing one of them. I'm making a banana cake, which I know was really popular during lockdown last year, but I'm finally making it after like a year. <laughs> hmm, smells good. And it tastes delicious too. Yeah, so definitely try baking something new, even like a banana cake. Another thing you can do that is productive and fun is clear out and organize your camera roll and also reminisce the old photos. Um, I know that there are people who have like heaps and heaps of photos on the camera roll, which is probably half, um, half of it's filled with unnecessary photos that they don't need anymore. So every once in a while, it's like 
good to just, you know, just go through your camera roll and clear it out, um, get rid of any photos you don't need anymore because it creates more space in your phone and it also gives you more storage. But one thing that I always do and I just get distracted with doing um, is just looking at old photos, like cringy ones that I took in 2016 that I thought looked good <laughs> or even just old photos from my younger years, like I've got this one here, eating fairy floss. <laughs> or um, this one here. I mean, probably shouldn't call yourself cute when you're younger, but I reckon it's it kind of cute. <laughs> Well, there you have it. 15 things to do when you're bored. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and you enjoyed it. Um, if any of you guys are finishing school, then have a great summer break and I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.